Hey guys, I know I haven't put out a video in quite a while, and I will explain that another time. But right now, I think we have to address the elephant in the room. And let's talk about um, HN's graduation. If somehow this video is how you're learning about it, I am sorry you had to find out this way. And I mean, I found I found it out first thing this morning uh, through a Matsuri clip that popped up on my feed. And um, well, I'll, um, let me start by linking the post. Uh, I'll have it in the description. And let me read to you the EN translation of what was written there. All right. So HN made the post, you know, her tweet. Essentially, uh, roughly translates to announcement. Um, I, A. Chan, will be leaving Hololive Productions at the end of June. The reason we were able to keep going this far without stopping is because of the wonderful talents and staff. And without a doubt, it is all thanks to all of the fans who have supported Holopro. Thank you so much for these past seven years. So that, that's the rough translation of the Twitter post. And um, here's the actual statement. No? Goes, um, of course, it translates to friend A, but I'll just use A Chan. Um, hello, this is A Chan. Um, as you're aware, I've taken a step back from work over the past three months due to family health concerns, and I apologize for my long absence. And while it may be sudden, I have an announcement to make. I, A Chan, will be leaving Hololive Productions at the end of June because it seems highly unlikely that I will be able to return to work as planned. I'm terribly sorry to make this announcement when a lot of you have been waiting for me, fully believing in my return. Over the past seven years or so, I have gone from starting off supporting my best friend Sora's dream of uh, becoming an idol, to meeting and interacting with Hololive production fans worldwide. Every step of this journey has been an incredibly valuable experience. Um, it has been an absolute pleasure to get to know all of you through this new VTuber culture. I've also managed to grow through this career, and I can say with confidence that these days have been extremely fulfilling, both personally and professionally. And for that, I have nothing but gratitude. From now on, I will be cheering Hololive Production on from the sidelines as a fan, and I hope that it will become even more beloved across the globe. Thank you for having me these past seven years. To the fans supporting me and the rest of Hololive production, thank you all so, so much. This has been a -chan. Signed on uh, June 28th, 2024. And you look at the post, there's so many replies, so many likes. You know, this was a pretty massive occurrence not just for us but vtubing as a whole no. and i've personally been coming to terms with you know trying to process it myself and it's really difficult to explain how it feels because you know this isn't the first graduation we've gone through quite a few it was very emotional when they left no? I mean, Mel's stung quite a bit considering her tenure, how long she's been with the company, no? But we never thought it would be HN. You know, to us, I don't know, there's something very, very different about it being um, a staff member of the position that HN holds, no? Not just because of that, but um, I know we have some newer community members here as well, but if you didn't know, Achan was one of the founding members of Hololive. Started with her and Sora, an idea with Yago and a dream. You know? It just happened to take off and become what we know today. And it's like, we take it for granted, right? Because Achan was always a behind-the-scenes staple. Felt like she'd be here forever. Um, I mean, a handful of us in the community 
maybe even a lot of us in the community, there was this idea even that we were assuming that when Yago eventually stepped down, that Achan would, um, you know, would take over. So for her to leave, what does it mean? No? Like with the other graduations being as emotional as they were, with Achan, I think there's something very different about it. Because Achan was not a, you know, she was a staple, but she was not a regular streamer, right? Not the way the rest of the talents uh, are. But for someone like her to leave, you can't help but ask the question, what does this mean for whole life? What does it mean for the industry? You know? Um, and it's tough. It doesn't quite have the emotional impact for me as maybe some of the other graduations, but I feel like the impact of this is something that we'll feel later down the line. It's not something super apparent on first impressions, but rather something that will show up more, you know, as the days go by. And as, as much of a achievement as seven years is, you have to, we have to be a bit more realistic when we're considering it that seven years for any industry is very, it's still a very young industry. Um, VTubing as a whole, at, at this point, right? Because it's only been around for how many years? You can really consider it as a trend industry. It doesn't quite have the foundations and the proven longevity of, you know, more traditional jobs, shall we say, like the medical field, law, um, finance, economics, those kinds of things. Engineering, list goes on, right? You get the point. So we can't help but feel, you know, I'm just looking at this from a, from a bit of a business perspective, a bit of a nerd that way. We can say right now, honestly, that VTubing as a whole is kind of on the downtrend. Like on the life cycle of a trend, you have the early adapters down here. Then kind of picks up. More people start to pay attention, then becomes a big thing. It reaches a peak of popularity, you know, right up here. That was ironically the pandemic era. That's really when it spiked. As it goes up, eventually you reach the top of the hill, the peak of popularity, and then we started to see it, right? At the end of pandemic, when things were starting to return to normal, there's the downtrend. So many VTubers, indies, you know, especially, they, they, they would stop. There would be the end of their career. We were able to come up with some sort of statistic. The average lifespan of a VTuber is like two, three years. And we're, start, we're really seeing that. We are pretty much in that downtrend, no? So for someone like Eitan to be leaving, does that spell doom and gloom for the industry? Not quite, not quite. That might be jumping to conclusions, but it, it does feel a bit scary, nerve-wracking. Can't help but be nervous about the future. Because what does this mean, right? I mean, of course, they have so many other staff members and whatnot. But I guess it's what Echan represented in the grander scheme of things. For her to be stepping away, it stings. It stings in a different way from all the other graduations we've seen. No? Um, 
please let me know what you guys think. Um, I would love to have a healthy civil discussion in the comments. Um, let me know, uh, you know, your favorite memories of Achan, your moments. What do you feel this means for all alive or the industry as a whole? Let's let's have a nice little discussion. You know, let's process this together. And um, with that, I I guess this is uh, Senator War Chief signing out. Um, take care of yourselves, and um, we'll just keep supporting. We'll just keep supporting Hololive. All right. What's so sin? Take care, you guys.